And we are inside the Ark Encounter. And all sorts of cool things. This is quite the structure. Look at this. Wow, we're on the first floor. Wow. It's monstrous. Heading up to the second floor. We are now on the second floor. And I missed the part of the Bible where it talks about souvenir shops and soda vending machines on the ark. But hey, I'll take it. And TVs. So they are very accommodated on the ark to be continued. We are now entering the pre-flood world. Man's rebellion corrupts creation. Pretty cool. dinosaurs on the ark and I'm not sure where I stand on all that uh, yet mostly because there are no dinosaur bones that we can visit a uh, little fun fact for you the only supposed dinosaurs bones that there are are in the Smithsonian and they're underground any bone on display of a dinosaur um, is actually a replica um, anywhere in the United States and so my theory of it is is when someone uh, digs up a big bone and they call whoever and they need to excavate the area is probably the bones of giants uh, the Nephilim and then they just tell everybody these are dinosaur bones and so on and so forth so that's my theory of it so I don't know where it places. I know there's things in the Bible talks about behemoth, um, even things that describe dragons. So I don't know where I stand with all of it, but I just thought I would tell that little tidbit of info. But anyways, it's still cool. And the other downfall about the Ark exhibit is um, there are only two of every animal. They don't account for when the Bible talks about seven of each clean animal. Uh, because they needed to make sacrifices still. They needed food to eat. And so I think if they eliminated the dinosaurs, because I don't know if they were supposed to be there, I think they would have enough room for all those other animals, all the clean animals. So anyways, that's my little uh, spiel for you. We are going to keep going. <laughs> 